From the files of Unshackle, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. By the time I was 15, my older brother and I were selling drugs and buying weapons. A friend took me to church where I heard about Jesus and prayed, but I didn't change. I was 16 when a SWAT team burst into our home and arrested my brother, but I was clean and began to focus on kickboxing. I was working as a bouncer in a bar when I met Jessica. She was hooked on meth but moved in with me and soon was pregnant. Jessica left when our son was three months old. For three years, I was a single parent. I won my first professional kickboxing fight in Puerto Rico, inflating me with pride that crumbled when I was arrested for DUI. I spent 10 days in jail. Jessica came back, went to rehab, and we were a family again. We found a liberal church, but it didn't help our chaotic relationship. My brother helped me train for the heavyweight kickboxing championship in L.A. There I attended a Christian conference, and this time I was born again. I married Jessica and sought to obey God's word. I won the championship bout and won in New Zealand, but every win left me feeling empty. My dedication to Christ prompted Jessica to divorce me, taking our son. An injury left me unable to fight for a year, so I studied the Bible and became an urban missionary. I'm James Mullen. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, 1458 South Canal Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60607. Email unshackled at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. I was the kind of kid that broke into his father's liquor supply, and he had plenty because he owned a bar. I was also the kind of kid who hardly ever went to class. Even so, I graduated, barely. I concentrated on having a good time until the draft caught up with me. Knowing I'd end up in Vietnam, I chose the Special Forces so I'd have the best training. The year and a half I spent in Cambodia and Laos, I was high all the time on every drug but heroin. When I came home, I started my own business and became very successful. My girlfriend's mother came to my shop and preached salvation through Christ, but I just laughed and carried on. A year later, I had an accident on my motorcycle that put me in the hospital for three months. During that time, I lost everything when burglars broke into my business and stole all my equipment. That winter, my sister attempted suicide. Then my mother died. Life was no longer a party. My girlfriend and I moved to California, and she came home from work one day, saved. Right away, she moved out to stay with Christian friends at church. She came back while I was at work and left gospel tracts all over the place. I read some before I threw them away. But I began thinking about my life. Then I got down on my knees and confessed my sin to a holy God. I stood up knowing he had saved me. I'm Tom Cairo, and my girlfriend is now my wife, and I'm now sharing the gospel that set me free of my drug-addicted, aimless life. Do you want to be set free? If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. Mine was a strong Christian family, so I always went to church and Sunday school, but uh, the gospel just rolled off my back. I wasn't a bad kid growing up, but I had my share of fights, foul language. In high school, I made a little money by stealing and selling cigarettes. And then I straightened out, went to junior college. I joined the Marine Corps because I thought it would help me settle down. After boot camp, I completed the Army's construction drafting school. I was the only Marine who ever graduated at the top of the class. <laughs> but marijuana was my undoing. I smoked pot and even sold some to a cook who turned out to be an informer. The course sentenced me to Leavenworth for three years. And there I knew I had only one recourse, and that was Jesus. 
I prayed, Lord, it's your ball game. You change me. And he did. I stayed in my cell and read the Bible. Soon I'd led another inmate to Christ. And then I was challenged by a group of black Muslims. But that was good for me. It forced me to learn scripture and know the answer to questions from unbelievers. After five months in Leavenworth, I was sent to Quantico to start my career in the Corps all over again as a private. My superior was a tough old gunnery sergeant. But I witnessed, even to him, when I was discharged, I started Bible college. While I was there, the gunnery sergeant called to say he'd given his life to Christ. Ah, what a joy to lead a soul into God's kingdom. I'm Chuck Chianka, and I know for certain there's no one like Jesus. And if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. I was a very sickly child with bladder infections. Although I missed a lot of school, I graduated with my friends at 18. I landed a good job as a secretary, but didn't fit in with the co-workers, so I quit after three months. I hid in my room. Mom worried about me, but Dad thought I'd get over my moroseness. When I didn't get better, Mom took me to a psychiatrist. I couldn't even talk to him, so he dropped me. But his partner put me on meds and hospitalized me. Neither meds nor electroconvulsive therapy helped my depression. Two years later, the insurance coverage and my parents' savings were gone. Then they put me in the state hospital, where patients were bizarre, the regimen strict, and doctors only came once a month. Mom prayed for me. I was desperate to leave that hospital, so one day I prayed, asking God to give me wisdom. God heard my cry, and the darkness left my mind. I began to socialize and was released. I met Harry, who loved me in spite of my past problems. And then I was hospitalized with a high fever, and doctors discovered I had a bad kidney that had been poisoning my body. The kidney was removed, and Harry and I married. Our son was born five years later. I am so grateful to Jesus, who is still changing me. I'm Jenny. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, 1458 South Canal Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60607. Email unshackled at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. When I was born, my mother dreamed that I would be a great musician. When I was eight, her dream was nudged along when a violin teacher gave me lessons in exchange for running errands. We moved to New York when I was 15, and I organized a small group of musicians that played on the radio and in nightclubs. Sadly, I came home drunk many nights. Mother intervened by trying to get me to go to a small mission nearby, but I had no interest. I was even less interested when she tried to get me to marry a Syrian girl. I wanted to choose my own wife from the Hispanic community. But as soon as I met this girl, I changed my mind. Her four brothers opposed our marriage, but I tried to be a good husband and they let us alone. Well, within a year I was a drunken, no good husband. Still, I didn't abandon my music and composing, but drinking ruined my health and I was hospitalized for surgery. A nurse bought me a portion of scripture to read, the Beatitudes, that I didn't understand until she explained how Christ died for our sins. Trusting him for salvation would give me eternal life, she said. That day I began trusting Jesus with my life. I left the hospital and went to a small mission where I surrendered all to him. How he changed my life. He made me a good father to my children and a good husband to my wife. I'm Raymond Sanchez. 
And since then I have written songs praising the Lord who set me free. Because if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. My mother died of bone cancer when I was only five years old. Then when I was 11, my older brother drowned while wading in the river. My dad became so bitter, life at home was almost unbearable. I rebelled against authority and couldn't get along with any teacher or coach. When I was caught stealing, dad threatened to beat me, so I ran away. The pastor of mom's church took me in for a while, but I was mostly in and out of foster homes until I got married at 16. My troublesome nature stayed with me, causing me to knock heads with one boss after another. I repeatedly quit jobs, which weren't easy to find with my poor education. After I started drinking hard and working less, my wife left me, getting a legal separation. I always said I'd never become an alcoholic, but I did. I hadn't planned on spending so much time in jail either, but I did. Many times I escaped death while I lived my life in the gutter. Looking back, I believe God was watching out for me. After a few years, I talked my wife into taking me back. I hadn't changed, and one night I came home drunk to hear my oldest daughter praying for me. I wouldn't go to church, but God reached me through a sermon on TV. As I listened, I remember how my mother prayed that she would see all her children in heaven. I prayed, God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me for Jesus' sake. On Sunday, I went to church and prayed with the pastor. I'm Dan Armstrong, and I haven't had a drop of alcohol since then. Jesus set me free, and he'll do the same for you. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. Andrew Wiesenbeek was born in Holland to parents who were militant atheists. In 1907, the family came to America and settled in Iowa. Andy was 19 and had earned a mechanical engineering degree. Although the country was in a depression, he always worked because of his skill at reading and making drawings. The evangelist, Billy Sunday, came to town, and one day the worst men in the factory called the Six Dirty Swedes came to work transformed. They had given their lives to Christ. Intrigued, Andy decided to go and listen to the evangelist. He didn't understand what Billy was saying, but a woman seated behind him pushed Andy forward at the invitation, and a counselor urged him to attend church and read the Bible. So Andy bought a Bible and read it all day. He was stunned at the person of Jesus Christ, his humor, his patience, his wisdom, his love. By that night, Andy saw that he was a sinner and knelt to pray, asking forgiveness and asking God to save him. Andy Wiesenbeek was born again. God gave him a wife and five children. God blessed his work and his life. Through his inventions and his growing business, the Lord enabled Andy to enrich the lives of other people. Over the years, the Lord sent him to many countries where he could share the good news of God's love and grace. God is real and powerful. He gave His only Son to die for our sins so we could have eternal life with Him. I'm Andy and Sarah's oldest daughter, Esther Filkin, urging you to put your trust in Christ. You see, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org.
From the files of Unshackle, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. As one of 13 siblings, I grew up feeling confused, trying to find my place in life. My parents loved the Lord and took me to church, but at the age of 14, I swallowed all of Mom's pain meds, hoping to die. When I woke three days later, I was angry to be alive. I rebelled by running away so many times, the court sent me to a girl's school. I ran away from there, too, but I was 16 by then and didn't have to stay in school. I began living with a man whose drug use was so bad, he never bought food for our two children. At a party one night, I met Nate, who was twice my age. He was good to my kids, so I moved in with him. Nate was so jealous, he locked me in the house when he went to work. Although I was hooked on drugs, my brother came and helped me move to my own apartment. While visiting my parents one day, my kids wanted to go to church with Dad, so he sent the church bus to get them. For two years they attended, begging me to go. Finally, I grew weary of my sordid life and went to church where each service revealed the awesome love of Jesus. I went home and prayed, asking God to save me. Jesus set me free of drugs, free of shame. I'm Pearl Willis. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, 1458 South Canal Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60607. Email unshackled at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. I was a drug-addicted, immoral mother of three when Jesus saved me. He gave me the courage to move out of the apartment I shared with an unsaved lover and to the church parish where I grew in knowledge of the Lord. Soon I had dozens of neighborhood kids eager to know about Jesus, and I started a club called Good News at the church. I began to pray with and minister to the mothers of the kids, and the group grew to hundreds. Needing more room, I bid on an abandoned house in a bad neighborhood in Chicago, trusting God to provide the finances. He did through Believers in Christ, and we moved into the house, starting a daycare for neighborhood children. Next door was a house of drug dealers whose noise and trash and loud parties disturbed us constantly. I prayed daily that they would move. Many of the single moms were abused, so I gave my testimony, telling how God saved me, delivered me from drugs, helped me to get my GED, and led me to help children. The newspaper and local TV did interviews, bringing in more help, but also bringing in state agents who challenged the work, but later helped us. A benefactor built us a new daycare center on vacant land next to us. Finally, police raided the drug house and closed it. I bid on the house and won, turning it into a home for single moms who work in the daycare. I'm Pearl Willis. If the sun therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, 1458 South Canal Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60607. Email unshackled at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. I was known as Captain Whammo during my years as a disc jockey on various radio stations around the country. I was a disreputable guy then, an operator looking for the best deal for me. Now mind you, I didn't start out that way. I attended parochial school and learned to spend time in prayer. But in college, my interest centered on me, and being a radio announcer looked like an easy job, so I went for it. I was fired from a few jobs for dishonesty or fraternizing with married clients but I was also in demand because of my skill at increasing a station's ratings. My Captain Whammo shtick, which was almost X-rated, made me one of the top four DJs in America. A Christian listener persuaded me to clean up my act, which was disastrous for my ratings. So I went back to my old style. 
I was living with a girl then, and we decided to try Las Vegas. Nothing worked out on that trip. Then my girlfriend went home and wouldn't come back to me because she had given her life to Christ. Driving alone one night, I listened to a Christian radio station that convicted me of my sin and selfishness. I prayed, asking God to help me change. I began attending a church that taught the Bible, and an elder helped me understand God's truth. I'm Jim Chanel, and today I work in Christian radio, where I can lead others to the Savior who set me free. And if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. Take a baby that isn't wanted and raise him in a home with drinking and fighting, teach him to steal to help support the family, and you end up with me, Ernie Hollins, reform school resident by age 16. We lived in Nova Scotia. When I tried to go home after reform school, Dad slammed the door in my face. I burglarized my way across the continent, in and out of prison, learning more crime each time behind bars. Then I decided to rob banks, because bank robbers had more respect in prison. I was no more clever at robbing banks than I had been as a burglar. But I made a name for myself, Ernie Hollins, bank robber. I finally realized that I would die in prison. Spending long hours in my cell, I developed a hobby, tying flies for fishermen. Word got around, and I started a thriving mail-order business. Then I wrote to a sporting goods store seeking an outlet for sales, and the owner wrote back telling me how Jesus had changed his life. He sent me tracts and a New Testament that I read. I wrote back asking how to become a Christian, and he visited me driving three hours each way. No one had ever cared that much about me. One night I knelt in my cell and talked to God. I asked Jesus to be my savior that night, and he gave me a new heart. Today I'm free and married with four grown children. I'm Ernie Hollins, loved by God because Jesus set me free. And if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org. From the files of Unshackled, Pacific Garden Mission presents Free Indeed. When our first baby was born hydrocephalic, my worst fears were realized. I was in Bible school at the time and working for minimum wage. Not only was the financial burden heavy with all the doctor and hospital bills, but the emotional weight was equally heavy, the pain and sadness as our daughter endured frequent seizures. I had grown up on a farm where I had learned to finish every job I started, no matter how difficult. There I had also learned to care for animals who were completely dependent on us, but gave back little in return. I can see now that God was preparing me even then for the trial that lay ahead. All the time I didn't understand why the Lord let us have a handicapped child. It seemed overwhelming. Now I know He was molding us, teaching us His ways. We learned to trust Him for every need, and we had many. We learned that nothing is too hard for God, and we learned to love unconditionally. The only thing more difficult than having a handicapped child is losing one. Our little Chrissy lived only two and a half years. Hers was a difficult and painful life, so God took her home. Then he gave us a healthy son and daughter. I'm Bob Allport, and my wife and I are eternally grateful that God gave us a chance to love all our children, a love made possible by his love for us, demonstrated at the cross of Jesus. He set us free, and that same love is available to you today. Come to him and see for yourself that if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you 
shall be free indeed. If you would like to be free from the weight of sin by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM right now. Free Indeed is a production of Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, 60605. Email freeindeed at pgm.org.